Why didn't you clean the trailer? Is that the last one to use it? Yes. You have proof? Yes. You might have to. Think I'll go in there? Yeah. Come on, my buddy. You got some girlfriends waiting for you. Man, you got lots of girlfriends waiting. Come on. Look at you, big old hunk. You're gonna get fat at Chad's house. Come on, buddy. Don't make us get panels out. Turn around. Come on. Good boy. He remembers last time. That no, last time wasn't a good ad <laughs> Good boy, Mark. Right. I gotta be up here with the boy. Here, let's let them out and they can let them out and get their they can get it all worked out there you go there's a new person touching me marcus that's a girl oh oh that's not another bull oh hey i like you god man now you'll be happy in the pen with her. Let's go. Typical teenage boy. Marcus! Can't try no hanky panky in that small little pen. Can we get a new trailer now? Like, that's the other one. Yeah, we need the bigger horned one first. Mrs. Glory. Easy girl. Nelly. Excited or nervous? I don't know which one. She's a little bit of a nervous no. Nelly, so she'll have to. That's not Nelly. She'll adjust though. She just doesn't like getting in trailers. Come on, girl. You ready to go to your new home? I'm gonna miss you. You're gonna be good to Smart them. Cow. I know, but I raised her. Raised her. I birthed her. I watched you give. Have your mommy have you? Yeah. All right. You guys ride safe. Well, they've left for Chad's. Some feeding. Hey, they want to see your baby. That wasn't very nice. But uh, let's see, this first pasture, we're missing a cow. So do we have a baby? Or does she disappear? We may never know, but uh, let's go find out. Well, we didn't find a baby. We never found a cow, but I had to go back home and get tubs because, well, 
I thought this pasture was out, but I was wrong. And the, but they needed mineral, so I got the mineral. Uh oh, uh oh, you see it? You know what that means? It means there's a cow over here all by herself. It's a red baby. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this down so that I have every chance I can of grabbing this thing. Yeah, it's getting decent. We're about halfway there. Hey, buddy. You guys are doing good. In case anybody's wondering, I did not catch her or him. I guess I was trying to catch him. Because hmm. it's a bull, it's a red bull. So it's a half brother to Val. You saw Val's dad in the video today, yesterday. One of them. Um, so yeah, we have a red bull to start the uh, start the cows off. So that's uh, five heifers down. Sixteen more to go. One cow down. Twenty-nine more to go. Right. Twenty-eight more to go. Yep. It's gonna be fun. Guys, we're almost to Chad's, and I'm pretty sure I've heard a couple banjos playing. This man. <laughs> if you guys don't hear from me, you know why. I didn't video unfolding or feeding those cows, but we got them fed in the pen, get them trained. We're going to get them pen trained. We're going to drive over here and... See if we can pick up the mineral feeder and take it up by the waterer to improve consumption. I don't know if they're eating what they need. They're supposed to, you know, not eat more than they need, but they're also supposed to eat some of it so we shall see see if we can get this picked up it's not exactly what I had in mind but it works as long as I'm kind of a carpenter which I'm not Let's see if we make it I think we'll call that successful Isn't that just nifty? Am I gonna miss it? Just barely. Mmm, smells like garlic. Our new mineral from Anapro. If you guys are watching this, Anapro, we could use a, uh, a sponsorship. Stuff's expensive, but it's got garlic uh oil and garlic powder in it can you just smell it i can smell it but garlic powder or garlic is supposed to some people say it helps with flies. However, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people say it helps with flies. Nobody has done any studies to find this out. Actually, they have, it's a lie, they have. 
they told us the studies with garlic showed no difference in flies. So therefore, they say it doesn't work, so they won't sell it to you. This company will sell it to you because the people that use it, see if I can do this, say it helps with ticks. And ticks, very bad. They take, they take our cow's blood and they go lay a bunch of tick eggs and more tick babies and ticks carry diseases. Last year was very bad for ticks. Nobody knows why. Didn't get real cold last winter. We got real cold a couple times this winter, so maybe, maybe we killed them all. But uh, no, it's supposed to help with ticks. So I told him to get me the garlic and I would take the chance that a dollar, another dollar 25 would kill some ticks. Dollar 25 a bag for garlic. Seems seems cheap when you go to the store and buy garlic and it's more than that. Who knows? Feed calves. It's like babies. They're not babies anymore. You know? Okay. Uh Uh, That's really something called uh, Right there. Okay. Did you hear that? It went plop. Hi guys. So we just uh, unloaded all the girls and Mark or uh, Maximus at Chad's place. I'm heading home. Didn't get many videos on my phone or any actually because I was too busy talking because we haven't seen Chad and Ray for a long time. Um, so we'll see. Chad may send me some. If not, you guys need to go over and look at his uh, video. I think he said he's putting one on on Tuesday. But uh, stay tuned for that and we wish them well and all the girls were settling down and they're going to be well loved. Kind of a roadblock. I wonder if they realize that if they don't move I can't feed them Do do. Wish they would hurry up. It'd be much easier to go get everything else done today if these calves would move. Get it? Huh? <laughs> move. Ah, oh, there they go. And they're off to the races. Maybe. Maybe not. Not in too big of a hurry. It doesn't look like. No, they're uh, they should be headed back from Chad's right now. I'm dropping off his new pets. Well, animals. He's gonna have to make a couple of them pets. They're not quite pets yet. And then we'll haul the heifers out to the pasture that they came from. Try to get some more longhorn calves caught and we'll be 
ready to work cows tomorrow. And uh, on either tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday, we're going to go get another set of heifers that are due to calve next. It's the uh, problem with having your heifers not at home. You gotta go get them and bring them home. But it will be okay. Beep beep. Excuse me. Pardon me. Says 842. We're shooting for 300 pounds. See how close we get. Wait your turn. Missed it by one pound. Looks like I might have smashed that a little bit. I might need I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that. Those are worth more when they're not bent up. See if anybody else can count. Anybody else get 51? I got 51. It's a good thing because there's supposed to be 51 here. So we had my pre-birthday birthday party at the barn last night. Here, just got me a toolbox for the barn. It's kind of empty, so I get to go tool shopping. Tools, you know, they've got to be complete sets and stuff like that. But, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, We'll attempt Lowe's. We'll try Lowe's, see if Craftsman stuff's make a good set. If not, we'll uh, look at other things. Thus somebody knows somebody at Lowe's or Craftsman and snap on ideally, but want to sponsor some tools. We can help, right? None of this got filmed, but needed to catch these girls to preg check tomorrow also. Stickers came in the trailer because she's fat and likes her food. So she's she's in the trailer. She came in the pen first. And uh, Delta's, a little, Delta's a little shy, so everybody else was running her off. U-turn came in the pen, but her baby didn't. So I let her out of the trailer, dumped more food in the pen. She went back in the pen, and then her baby went in. Delta's baby went in. And then Delta went in. So, ta-da. Okay, let's go. Let's go load some cows. So just got back from Chad and Ray's. It's time to take these guys out to their pasture before it gets dark. Come on. We have to separate the mamas from the babies just for their own safety, obviously. So, come on. Let's go. It's out here, little nuggets. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is feisty. Look at your mommies. Oh, my gosh. 
think you're waning. Come on. Come on. No, come on. You can do it. There you go. Get up there with your mommies. Good job, babies. Oh, good job. You're so brave. Come on. Oh, I know, baby. I know, sugar. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Careful. Good job. Now you guys can lay down and not get stepped on. All right, let's go. <laughs> so my friends are back. My friends are back. They're going to be so confused when babies pop out first. Oh, golly, these girls are fat. Ooh-wee. Hi, guys. You guys all gonna have babies soon. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Come on, little ones. I'm gonna miss you at the house. Now careful, Don't, you're gonna fall, but you'll be okay. Careful, oh good, good job. Come on, come on, so I can get your mommies out. Let's go, come on. We gotta get out so your mommies can come out. Come on, come on. Hurry, oh careful, there you go. Come on, hurry up. Come on. You can do it. Hey, you guys leave that baby alone. Hey, careful, careful, careful. Go get your babies. Come on. Go find your babies. Well, that was a disaster, so it didn't get filmed. We have stickers and we have Delta. We had U-turn and we had U-turn's baby. Until his U-turn's baby decided to crawl out from underneath the gate and we lost U-turn's baby. So we're gonna get, uh, get them unloaded and see if these babies are gonna come in here. Cause so far I, they have not. They're not very smart. Okay. Let's do this. Hey, <gasps> Tico. It's preg check day. Let's see if I can video some. Come on, come on. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And went out to go catch Angus. Nope, come on, there you go, come on. Ch -ch -ch. There you go, follow your baby. No, get. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Good girl. I got a couple caught. These three didn't, their babies wouldn't come in last night. Their babies are very hungry. But I assume they're learning a lesson, I guess. I don't know. Good morning. Your baby didn't come inside last night. Good morning, little guy.
Look at that. I'm assuming that's a piece of the horn from when we dehorned every those crosses, I hope. Can you two go in now? Huh? Come on. How about all three of you? Let's go. Come on. Let's get you two. Come on. Come on. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh. Up, 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 up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's try this one. It's not very easy to do with one person. Come on. No, you you got it, girl. Shh, shh. Come on. You got it. You got No. <sighs> Reba? Hi. Can I go get a halter and bring you inside? How about we get a big old bunch of you? Come on. Come on, dolls. Tater, you're not a girl. Come on. Come on. <whistles> Guys. What are you doing over there? Yep, I tried. Guess we wait till we get help. weekend slash Monday. Unfortunately, we didn't get any video of us like, checking longhorns. We didn't have the best pregnancy ratio this go about. And taking blood work on some of them to make sure we don't have an issue going on, but we'll still have 10 or 15 babies, but that's we were hoping for 20 babies, you know, so but we're now loading up uh-oh i don't think i can fit you get covered in grease? i know i can't hear a ticket i'll climb over Could you gonna show them who we're loading up no we're just gonna surprise them this is this is a two-handed job here Oh. I got dirty. It's karma for hitting me with the gate. You're the one that walked where the gate was. Anyways. Why is it my fault? People are going to say that I'm a jerk. They already are. Oh. No. Good for them. <laughs> Tater. Stickers and her baby. Dixie and Grace are going to a new home today. Had someone call while I was on the drive to take a, the girls and Maximus to Chad. His name is Marker. And so we're gonna go on another little road trip and take them. They just want some pasture. Ooh, don't kick at me. They just want some pasture art. So come on, buddy. They're gonna be well loved. This might be the first time he's been in a. Well, I guess he's. Mm. Easy does it, bud. Good job. And before you guys come at us, one of these heifers has a little limp. She got pinned against the fence by one of these big cows. She'll be okay. And then the new owners know all about it and they're perfectly fine with it. She'll be perfectly better in 
probably perfectly better probably by tonight <laughs> see she's already better than she was that young calf is stickers now steer calf he uh got his goods taken off today such good babies Now for the fun one. Oh, stickers. You guys were saying Snickers as in like, eat a Snickers, you'll be happy. It's sticker as in like the, st <laughs> like the things you step on and they get in your stick, in your so in your foot or like a peel and stick. <laughs> oh, Lego, a sticker. But she's gonna go, these are first time Longhorn owners, Animal. so Animal. we're pretty excited for them. But I probably won't make any videos there just out of respect to them, so. And it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like Chad. We remember the first time Chad showed up with a camera. <laughs> You're okay, sweetie. Like that weird thing, Chad. <laughs> he was sad he didn't get to see you the other day. Yeah. Yeah, everyone on YouTube is saying Aaron took them, Aaron brought them. And I'm like, no, no, no. I did all the hard work I going mean, into I banjo country. All right, be good, okay? We'll be there in about an hour and a half. See you guys.